Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the rock full of brains, a bunch of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We've taken over these three, those are the other two are in our sights, but today my main aim is to get my boy Plank, where, where is he? He's around here somewhere, into the rocket up here, send him over to Reverse Lynn, and then throw a telescope so, some, somewhere up here so that we can start scanning the area around us and know exactly what is going on in these wilds but you might notice that my my game is paused that's because we've got a little bit of an insidious killer on the go over here our food production has shut down uh, this this is not great this is mainly just due to the fact that we don't have as much air pressure going on as we would like as you can see it's it's kind of okay down here needs a bit more up there I'm sure we can do something to fix that but the first thing we need to do is start moving a little bit more carbon dioxide around now the vast majority of the carbon dioxide is located at the bottom of the base it is the heavy item after all and we can just kind of connect this on to this uh, power wire here uh, move the pipe down and across and of course I would like to have a little bit of control on this I don't want to just be pumping any gases I do want to try and make sure it is carbon dioxide okay and I think like that the only thing left to do is just make sure that this is the first thing that people get onto. I have other plans of course but this this was definitely the thing that had to be done one of the other plans I've got whilst we wait for the, uh, the the water here to turn to steam and indeed that that's happening pretty quickly we're already at 70 degrees we're going to look at that again in a, a, a little section of this cycle and you'll see that is much higher than the 70 degrees uh, we, we really need to get this uh, carbon dioxide pump up and running because people are having a hard time even existing down here but I want to try and get some hydrogen in un, into this little box here I'm going to have to end up moving this door down below have a little pathway coming down and under in fact we can deconstruct that let's get a ladder uh, and go from here to there and then maybe dig under we're probably going to need to have some more insulated tiles this way I don't really want to fill this space up with any other extraneous gases if I can help it but we're going to kind of try and do something a little bit like that and that should enable us to uh, fill this with hydrogen, which we're going to steal. Let's put that there first. We're going to steal from this hydrogen source that we've got up here. All the all the hydrogen from my uh, electrolysis device down here ends up up in this little corner. This pump then pumps it out. We filter it out, and I will just uh, steal a little bit. Oh, wrong button. I was still a little bit off of here, just so we can bring it all the way back down, temporarily of course, so we can fill this area up. Okay, the uh, the build is nearly done. Let's set this up to carbon dioxide. If we detect carbon dioxide, send a green signal. Beautiful. Plank not really having the greatest of times right now. Swan Levitt doing the build. I'm not sure she's the person with the highest... Um higher skills in building but Plank is definitely like happy to swap out all right and we are away this should be carbon dioxide up I don't know whether this is going to be enough to save us but it's going to be a good start someone must have been binge eating or something like that someone must have eaten all our food there was definitely more than just a few dust caps that we were relying on I mean look at all this fish that we've got down here where where's the uh, the produce from this gone like we got we got 40 odd fish down here yeah there, there should be more there should be more not even a cycle later 70 76 we're, we're, we're climbing the temperature scale pretty quickly just want to turn this all into steam uh, I should probably turn this pump off I've just noticed it's on so that we can start refilling our uh, our engine over here in fact I'm going to come all the way up and across to make sure that does happen in fact let's get rid of that, that uh, gas vent as well should only have steam in here as we have uh, already vacuumed this area out uh, at the temperature gauges will turn that well balance the amount of steam that we've got yeah this this should be great and then we can send plank home all of this is just in aid of sending plank home or or killing time until we can send plank home though obviously just throwing water in the bottom seems to be the best plan i'm gonna carry on with the hydrogen plan over here don't worry about that but uh the aluminium seems to be reaching equilibrium with the water pretty quickly and we're not boiling the water in the cooling system so i feel like maybe this might be the better way of doing it if you're trying to come up with one of these cheap easy and quick ways of uh taming your volcanoes which all, all we've done is run some uh, cooling pipes around the outside of the volcano and tried our best to make sure these tiles don't melt we, we did slightly melt through the floor yesterday so that that wasn't the best play 
But we seem to be manageable right now. We seem to be manageable indeed. All right, this area has got sealed off. That is beautiful. Do you reckon we've got any food in the uh, in the printing pod? Yeah, I mean, a bit of algae maybe. Does that, does that class as food? I don't think we can eat that. Make sure the food isn't in here. No, no, no food in the rocket. Okay, I wonder... Where, where has it all gone? With night time being called, I'm, go I'm gonna get this tropical fish being beaten up. I think that's, look, there's omelets there. What? Oh no, they're curative tablets. Sorry, I, th I thought that was omelets. With, with this uh, tropical fish possibly being beaten up, we should have a little bit to make some paku fillets with, though I've, with night time being called, no one's actually gonna cook that food, are they? Takes a long time for him to die. The duplicates get a long way away. Starvation plank. Yeah, I, I, I know you're going to have problems, but are you uh, in serious problems? I think you should be all right. Okay, the beginning of cycle 109. We're about 90 degrees on the thermal aquatuna there. That's good. I reckon by the end of today's cycle, we'll be having some steam in the box. Watching plank. I mean, really, I've got to make sure this electric grill gets dealt with. Like, Paku fill it into seafood. There is one 1,000 calories sat right there. And uh, I would I would like it to be dealt with. But every, everything's saying that there's no pending delivery. So I'm not... I'm not sure how that's going to work. Oh, also, with some of the deliveries of the carbon dioxide, we appear to be actually getting up to some pretty serious uh, mushroom business there. Okay, yeah, Goddard can be scolding for this one particular moment. I, I think we'll, we're going to allow this for now. Wasn't Goddard our chef, though? Could, could you go kick? Cook? That, that would be great. Yeah, Goddard, cooking high. What, why, why are you not? Look, Colony lacks... Ah, oh, wait, it's because we scrubbed him. <laughs> okay, there there we go, Goddard. You should now just jump straight to it, right? That that should hopefully be the way Goddard won. Okay, that, that's good. Might take him a moment, but he'll get there. And then maybe Plank could eat. That, that would also be great. How, how's he doing? Let's move him up here so the moment the food is ready, he's ready to strike. All right, we're about halfway through the calories that Plank has inside of him. That's uh, a little bit worrying. We have, however, just dropped a bit of cooked see-through, so hopefully the next thing he's going to do is eat. I suppose he needs to breathe as well. These are two very important processes for a duplicate. I just I want to see him pick it up go up and stick it in his face and there we go we, we're getting ourselves enough calories to not have to really worry about it anymore Whew, that, that was a little bit worrisome but we're, we're doing okay now another thing i've noticed is this pipe here is pretty much just over the top of this so i think i'm just going to go down like that we're, we'll figure out how a little borehole is going to work here i've got a feeling i'm going to need to put a couple of doors down in place somewhere like maybe maybe up here we could do with a door here uh, another one there this looks like a good airlock there and there and then maybe another one there and then we can just run ladders up like this yeah why not I'm, I'm sure there's a thousand reasons why not but for now that will do i say for now you know this is going to become a major thoroughfare just because it's been built Whilst we build this arterial route, I would like to thank the people that are the vital blood force of this YouTube channel. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls who have taken time out of their day and money out of their wallet to go along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy make a monthly monetary donation to make sure me and my channel can continue on into the future. So I really would just like to take this moment right here to say thank you very much. It really is thanks to you that I can do what I do. The last tiles always take the longest. I th I'm fairly sure this has taken the same sort of portion of uh, of a cycle that like maybe all of this bit did. It, it is quite quite a quite a thing, but that's because only one duplicate can get out of time. Uh, and you know what they've called downtime. But I, I would really like this gas pipe to get done today, if at all possible. I know that all the materials have been delivered, so it shouldn't take too long for the duplicates to uh, just smash their way through this. Hopefully. Yeah, 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 before actual night times happens. Now, if we go to the F7 screen here, we can watch some of the gases come piling their way down here. Now, this is okay at the moment, but at some point, we are going to have ourselves a situation where we can't actually get into here because opening this door would uh, let all the gases out. Let's turn access to that door off, and then tomorrow, when this these two tiles get uh, deconstructed, we can throw another door in sideways like this. Of course, the pressurization of the carbon dioxide might might end up being a bit of a problem. That might, might, might be something that we need to try and work our way around. Oh, hello, Plank. Are you here to uh, destroy these tiles? Where did... Oh. Oh. 
It's it's a real bad one. Oh, it's a very bad one. I'm just like, where did where did this come from? But of course, if I ask for everything to be destroyed in a tunnel, oh man, that's that's bad. Yeah, the the the, the tile can deconstruct, but oh man. Okay, this shouldn't be too too much effort to uh, to fix. Hopefully, uh, and and maybe all we've done is made the uh, the temperature swap just a little bit more efficient. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, here's the delivery and the fix. I've got a feeling we're going to need to try and put some more bubbles of water in here. There is a little bit of a break now. We can re-put the, uh, re the bridge on no problem. So we lost one and there would be one to this little system here. So it's only two little bubbles. I feel like that's three. I wonder where they went. Oh, I thought it would have happened by now. Oh, I wish I wish I had watched it. But the steam is now up and ready to roll. We could fill up this uh, this steam engine at any moment, which which we are going to do. Actually, we are definitely going to do. Uh, wow, wow, 92 kilograms per tile. That's nearly 100 kilograms per tile. That, that's a lot for gas. That is a lot for gas. I'm very thankful that this managed to hold. But of course, if it could hold the water pressure, it would hold the uh, the gas pressure. So let, let's let's start filling it up. What what else are we here to do, hey? We need to send Plank back to Blagolia. Uh, no, sorry, we're on Blagolia. Back to Plyaxlin, where we can then teleport him back to Reverselin. We don't have a rocket pad on Reverselin, would you believe it? I mean, we have literally just broken our way through, so uh, took a while to get rid of all this lava. Look look at all of this lava. Took, took a while to get rid of it. Took a while. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we now need to try and fill up this, uh, this steam engine. Should not be a problem at all. Remind me that I cut the hydrogen line here so everything can go down to the cobalt volcano. I, I'm sure in like three episodes I'm going to be like, why are we not, why are we backing up with hydrogen and nothing's getting burnt? That, that'll be why. <laughs> Okay, we've got a whole bunch of slime down here that's off-gassing. That's not ideal, as we are trying to take this down to almost an entirely hydrogen atmosphere here. We've got more and more being dumped off, so we need to try and get rid of both the slime and maybe the carbon dioxide. I've asked someone to come along and uh, change this to an open door, but it turns out that's not something they will just do willingly off their own back. Faraday is on the way. I, I swear that the game tries to pick the person who is furthest away for being able to do the uh, emergency jobs. Maybe Maybe they're trying to uh, to train us here, but hey, I am resistant to such training. I am a little bit worried about what's going to happen when this hydrogen first gets down and touches the, uh, the the cobalt that we've got down here. They're they're very hot. They are very hot. I feel like there's going to be a bit of spillover onto some of the stuff that can resist high temperatures. 275 is a lot, but it's not much compared to 1200. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see at some point. This, this will do what I expect it to and then I think the whole hydrogen pile is going to flash up to a couple of hundred degrees at least. And honestly, I am here for it. <laughs> okay, we kind of had indirect touching of the liquid cobalt and that went up to, uh, we saw 200 over here, which was a little bit worrying, but I think we're okay because the contact with these side tiles, which are uh, being kept steady at 60 at the moment, but I've got a feeling we can bring them down even more. Uh, uh, just hold it, holding that temperature of the hydrogen nicely. A little bit worried that we're actually going to have to pump the carbon dioxide out of here. I'd rather not do that, but if, if we have to, I will. Okay, we've closed the door, and I'm now going to ask for these to get built. Probably should have done that the other way around. Uh, got these built and then closed the door. But we can also run some power from this gold line here straight down into that. All right, beautiful. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow, because once again, down, downtime's been cut. I should really learn to watch the clock. That that might help. Okay, that, that was pretty quick, actually. I'm all about this. Of course, we do have some breathing issues, and no one's come along to make a delivery to the plastic of, of the plastic to the vent here but i think that's uh, something we can live with as time goes on can we live with it i don't know who's on it now god i'm currently doing it all right beautiful oh the hydrogen has indeed touched and i think maybe this cobalt is dropping pretty sharply in temperature it was 1300 i mean it is still 1300 but we are physically watching it drop by degrees a second so i am all about that let's once again have a look uh, okay yeah this, this conveyor loader is climbing in temperature that's a little bit concerning but i don't think it's gonna ooh, ooh. That's even more concerning. Let's just kind of stop that for now. 
Let's see how this settles out. Hopefully we've got as little uh, carbon dioxide that we actually need in there to be able to do this. I, I didn't want this to come up and around this way. I was kind of expecting the carbon to uh, to drop down instead. But, you know, we'll, we'll just let it, let it settle down. The carbon dioxide will do what it naturally tends to want to do, which will be drop down into this hole. I guess we're going to just leave this like this for the moment and uh, hope that this conveyor loader can can hold it. Oh man, yeah, let's let's hope here. We're about to watch it start spiking up. Maybe the hydrogen was not the uh, yeah, there we go. That that's a problem. That's very much a problem. Maybe the hydrogen was not the winner of an idea. Maybe we needed something that like is good but not quite as good. If we have a look at the uh, thermal conductivity, the, the heat capacity is 2.4, the conductivity is 0.1. I, I do believe out of most gases, it, that's one of the better ones. Uh, uh, steam would possibly have been better. Okay, uh, well, today today we learn. Today we learn. Yeah, polluted oxygen, 0, 0.0. Okay, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's the numbers I was expecting to see, 0, 0.0. So most of the gases are terrible. Steam was actually a little bit better. Hydrogen, if we have a look down here. Ooh, a long, you, can, you can use hydrogen for a lot, it turns out. Uh, the 0 0.168, as we got from down below, just confirming. Okay, that, that that's cool. I don't know what we could use instead. Chlorine? Oh, that's even worse. That's a 0 0.00. That's possibly the worst I've ever seen. Even worse than carbon dioxide. Wow, today I learned. This is me reconnecting the pipe. Okay, I don't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Wow, some of this aluminium sure has built up some thermal mass. This is uh, two and a half tons of aluminium at 300 degrees centigrade. It's got water around it, so it is uh, having all its temperatures leached out. As we can see, we're watching it go down by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 per second, so that's pretty good. Over this side, I've decided to take a more direct approach to trying to cool down the hydrogen. I don't know who should be on this, but I have asked for people. It says unreachable build. Is this? We can go in and out. I know why. I know why. This pump is in the way. We don't. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to open this door, but actually, no. We're going to take this pump down. We're going to pop some more ladders back in. We don't need to pump out any more gases from here, thankfully. So we'll just let that do its job, like so. Brilliant. I was kind of expecting people to come along and do the uh, do, do the pipe straight away, but of course, without an access way, it turns out that was a fool's hope. Okay, well, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to be done. So we'll speed our way through it. Put down some ladders. Hopefully, that's just like a an immediate thing, and then uh, uh, hopefully the rest of the base will come along yeah planks on this and like all, all sorts of people should be on the build as soon as they've done that we're going to put plank back in the uh, the rocket module and fire him back to blagolia uh, sorry pyaxlin we're on blagolia i keep making this mistake Okay, we, we're, we're getting a few heat scoldings here, but I think we can survive with that, especially as we're trying to deal with a thousand degrees in places. Goddard might be get, taking just a little bit too much damage. Okay, is everything just a construction error? Everything is just a construction error now, so we're going to be waiting for Pit Plank. Plank's going to have a bad time, isn't he? I think we might even have to... Oh, he seems to be doing okay. It's not until he gets up into the actual hydrogen where the serious damage gets taken, and, and here it will begin, but we've just got one more to do. Oh, no, Plank, no. Okay, he's decided not to. Okay, Swan Levitt coming along to finish the actual job off. Oh, apart from they didn't, didn't have enough uh, breath in them. That's... That's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. This is almost a completely inaccessible area when everything is set up and ready to go. Maybe we uh, we should ask for everything to be uh, swept up as well. No, no one's coming along to do that. What? Who, who's on it now? That's, this this is kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, Goddard's going for it this time, exactly as things are starting to fall down. Uh, I noticed that some gold has dropped. Does this mean that immediately... Okay. Okay, I guess we can try it a different way. If I grab this and go there, 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 and then we'll just cut these off here and see whether that cooling is enough. I think I think a little bit of gold in there trying to cool everything down isn't the end of the world, but mostly I want to make sure this conveyor rail doesn't get too hot, and right now we seem to be holding somewhere around, oh, it was 150 for a little bit, now we're spiking up to 200. As long as we can keep it under 250, and everything's cooling back down nicely now. Okay, this is good. What about the hydrogen over? here just whilst we are being interested in temperatures it's about 150 okay that's that's fine the conveyor rail being brought right down okay that that was good we didn't actually lose too much of a uh well we didn't we didn't melt anything i suppose that's the the big problem a uh, big big win there we did melt some gold i don't think i'm that bothered but we did melt some gold 
I'm going to leave these radiant pipes here just to help pass the temperature around. But I think tomorrow is the time when we're going to send Plank off and away. Okay, I actually waited a day, but that's okay because uh, Plank really needed to heal up. I don't want the cooking ingredient, I want the edibles. We're going to try and put all of the cooked pa uh, cooked seafood. It's, it should be around here somewhere. Cooked seafood, there we go. We're going to pop all of that into this refrigerator and then we're going to get Plank ready to fly. I can't remember whether he still has the skills to do so, but I, I'm going to just assume so for the moment. We've got a, um, a pipe full of steam. Well, it had a little bit of steam back here. Broken a, 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 a gas pipe, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and it's got more than enough oxygen to... Uh, Keep, keep Plank alive, so that should all be fine. Let's have a look inside this printing pod while we're here. Uh, Joyous seeds, go on, why not? Okay, we've got 6,000 calories or so. I would really like this to be all swept up, but you know what? We're going to call for the crew. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, Plank, the pilot this time. Goddard, of course, being told to come to the naughty room here. I suppose that's fine. Uh, we're going to... We can't, we can't, can we change destination from in here? We can. We're going to Pi Axlin, of course. Where else would we be going? I'd like to watch these from the outside. Let's uh, begin that launch sequence. Nothing else really to be doing here. We'll say goodbye. Watch the steam build in temperature here 220 that that that's great we we got ourselves an extra like 200 uh, an extra 20 degrees or so out of that going over to the star map we can see that plank is traveling 0.8 of a cycle that is going to take a little while that that's fine though 0.8 of a cycle will take us until the morning i have also uh, increased the the size of the loop here i also forgot to grab myself a bridge and pop this back i wonder who will be doing this now that plank is not around. Goddard or Swan Levitt, they both say that they want to do it next. That is because I turned the priorities all the way up though. Let's see, it wasn't Goddard, so it must be uh, Swan Levitt's already on their way, surely. No, every everyone's just like, actually, I've got more important things to do. Okay, the pump is doing its work now, filling up this line, making sure we have no gaps. I probably want to break it after a while because we do have room uh, for things to go just a little bit wrong because of the way these pipes are set up. If we're just a little bit over full, uh, things can kind of jam up and uh, loop back on themselves, giving us almost a, gr a gridlock situation where it can't move because the thing in front of it is being blocked by itself by going all the way around the loop. But that was morning. Oh, uh, we, we've had a scolding. Let's have a look. Okay, it's just one level moving some very hot cobalt around. Uh, turns out that it's uh, 600 degrees over here. That's quite a lot. I am tempted to try and build a small set of tiles here and here. This way the gas vent can carry on pumping, uh, can carry on pumping out and providing more hydrogen. But we could also draw a little line uh, with more cooling pipe and have a bigger block of cold over here. I think that would be a fairly good idea. But as I was saying, oh, the landing has already happened. Let's go back and yeah, we're, we're up there. Now is, is, uh, wait, wait, which one, which one is it? Is this one? Is Plank allowed out? It looks like yes, they are. Okay, that's good. Let's try and find them uh, lying around somewhere down the bottom here. Hello, Plank. How are you doing? Welcome back. I mean, you're not you're not going to be staying here. I, I I have some some bad news for you. You go to repair stuff. What? Oh, why why is this need repairing? Who knows? The temperature should have been fine. Like, uh, may uh, maybe from the landing of the rocket. Yeah, that that's probably it. Uh, but as I was saying, we're going to come over to this teleport transmitter. It says it's unassigned. Let let's send Plank. We we know what we need to do. Let's go. We're going to be leaving Blagolia for a little while here, and we'll be going to going back to our first original home. That's right, reversing. We are going to come along and try and set ourselves up a little bit of a space telescope here. Let's come. On. Is it the stations? I think it's the stations. Virtual planetarium. Let, let, let me look. I can. I always struggle to find this one. Of course, it's in the rocketry. Where where else would it be? I know. I feel like somewhere over here would be the ideal place. But like that down here will probably be fine. I, I think there's a bit of a, uh, a conflict with these over here and this over here is probably also causing some problems. The telescope likes to have a clear view for like four tiles either side, something like that. I cannot remember the exact, but here comes Boar to get a build on. Beautiful. I need to figure out how to get power and oxygen up there. Do we have access to oxygen? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, we can we can run the oxygen this way. Okay, this is good. This is just a dump valve, so if we just 
Hmm, how can we reroute this? I feel like all we need to do is go up past this one and over this way. That does make this gas valve uh, a little bit problematic, but then we can move this lot up. Yeah, okay, all right, let's, let's figure out how to do that, like, right now. We have a problem. We have a problem. I want to be able to dig this block out, but unfortunately, uh, you can see we've got vacuum up here. Oh, this is really, really, really complicated to show. We've got vacuum up here. We've got gases down below. If we go over to the materials, that's because the only way that things can get in and out is via this tiny little pinch point where we have liquid down below, and that is uh, causing a block between these two. If I take this block away, then the gases are just going to flow. I need to be able to put maybe maybe a block in here. Uh, what do I want? Let's just get a normal floor tile. Just pop that there. And then when that's built, we should be able to do some more. Hopefully, like if we put this down on a lower priority, people will get this built before all the other problems uh, can arise. I'm actually going to have to take this ladder out and build a tile underneath as well because if I take, if I replace this block, my, my big plan is to replace this block with a, well, just a regular tile. Um, but the moment I do that, this one here is also going to get a whole bunch of uh, oxygen inside of it. And then when I take this out, we're going to have to use the, the gas pipe. I'd, I'd rather not do that, you know? I'd rather not do that. I do like watching the lava flow. This, I, I should actually try and back engineer what I did here because it was so long ago I'll never remember but th this temperature transport system that I've got here works absolutely flawlessly m mostly mostly flaw flawlessly enough for this series anyway so uh, yeah I should definitely make better use of this like I really I was really planning to set up another one like over here at this dip seems um uh, seems like I don't need it now oh he, he did it anyway. He did it anyway. Okay, let's put the, 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 the tile in place. Hopefully that's the next thing that needs to happen. Just uh, have a look at the gases here. Yeah, yeah, we filled it up. Polluted oxygen. Not the oxygen that I thought it would be. Okay, and now like that we should be able to... Let's not do it like that. Uh, de deconstruct that tile and this tile. Put down a new ladder behind it when times are ready. And we should be able to then redirect these pipes just a little bit better. Problem, of course, being that I can't get into this corner here. There, there we go. That now, now things should be able to build fine, and the uh, vacuum is still perfect. Okay, one of the first things I have to do is a little bit weird, but I want to make sure that the uh, exosuits here are always getting delivery of oxygen. So I'm actually going to do something like this. Where's the best place to put this? I might even come backwards and then have the oxygen line go somewhere else. Uh, because then this pipe always makes sure it is getting the freshest of oxygen, the newest of oxygen. Where do I want to cut this? Right here like this. Okay, that that's fine. Uh, then we can put down another gas pipe over here. It's going to be a little convoluted because of the way I've chosen to do it, uh, but that should then mean I can bring the gas pipe out this way, go up and across and connect up with that, and that, that should then be perfect. I'll think about this. There's probably a better way of doing this. Okay, that's gas pipes laid down. That's pretty good. Do, are we are we able to support extra? It doesn't look like we really are able to support extra. But when has that ever stopped me before? So let's try and go up and follow this route along. What are we building out of here? I don't I don't really care as long as long as it's a good material. Oh, ideally not steel. Wait, what have I just made? Ah, what? <laughs> You know, I don't think I have enough materials of any material to do this. I, I'll, I'll try and figure out where I can get some copper or cobalt from, but uh, there we go. I, I, I suppose we'll just build that and see how far we get. I feel it's kind of fitting that Plank is going along and building his own infrastructure here. That's the, that's nice. I like that. Good good, good job, Plank. Good, big thumbs up. You definitely deserve the, uh, the adoration you receive. Having to fire up the oldie industrial brick here. Not done that for a little while. Hopefully someone will be along to do this pretty quickly. I don't think anybody's... Uh, oh, there we go. Hubble is already on it. I don't think people have got anything else particularly pressing that they need to get on with instead. I mean, obviously, the food is always an issue. Hello. Where, where's where's all the people in here? They are actually all here. We're, of course, running uh, very, very close to empty because we are always waiting for the, for the magma to cool down. Uh, but Hubble should now be turning this over uh, the great thing about this is that when the system is run okay thank thanks Hubble so as I was saying, once the uh, system is run, all the liquids, all the cooling liquids out here, they come out uh, 
to refine the metals, we take a whole bunch of liquid as well as the ore, uh, melt the ore, and of course this gives a whole bunch of heat. We put the heat into the liquid, and this then go, runs through my little steam box here. It's, uh, it's actually quite a small steam box, but it definitely goes around, makes a nice circuitous path to make sure that it dumps uh, as much of the 200 degrees that it's got inside of it into the heat. I think we get it down to about 100, uh, sorry, to about 200 by the time it's done. Of course, the steam is uh, settling out of 246, so hopefully uh, we will uh, see this tip over at some point. It won't be this time, though. Oh, no, no, no. We are, we are not dumping enough heat in. We're actually at the point where the petroleum is cooler than its surroundings. Doesn't start that way. It does end that way. Is it cooler down here? It's very cool down here. Okay. Back on Blagolia, I thought it'd be a good idea to check and make sure everything was going alright with the steam box. Turns out that was a good idea because things were not alright with the steam box. I needed to have hooked up uh, a power line to this steam turbine for it to be able to process the temperature in here. Managed to get that down just by throwing in a bit of wire overnight. Back over on reverse and waiting for Plank to continue building this all the way up. You can see that all the gases are now uh, just the two, two left on this gas pipe to be able to get moving and then all of this will get filled up. And that's probably all that we will ever need. Or oh, in fact, that just as we're talking about it, it has begun. No, okay. Oh, it's because because this isn't actually built. There's no destination. All right, I get it. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> I thought it was all a priorities issue. I think it's probably this bit of abyssalite right here. I think it can't actually build over the top of that. So let's uh, let's build another one. Let's let's come one block further in. Oh, that also save always get buzz me wrong, man. Okay, let's try it again. Let's put that there and let's see if that's any better. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, much, much better. Just moving it over that one block definitely did the trick. Uh, and now I wonder whether the gases are flowing. All right, great. This this is perfect. This is amazing. I mean, it's not quite perfect. I could have put a filter on here and then we would have known for definite. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now we just need to try and get... Oh, thank you, Boar. Thank you very much. All of this copper line put into place. I'm, I'm hoping that people will just come along and make all the deliveries. Uh, do we have enough for it? I, I assume so. Yeah, we got we got 1,200 there. That, that's surely enough. In fact, I might even just take a few off of here. Okay, the wire is in place. And with Plank climbing along the ladders to take his rightful place, we're going to start being able to screen... Uh, to search, sorry, all of these areas outside here. And I think with all those objectives achieved, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we'll deal with the fact that I completely forgot that the uh, petroleum boiler was right on the point of becoming functional. Uh, it, it's great. We've got a, a, a store of heat built up, but we've also managed to melt a steel liquid pump because we didn't have the temperature backflow flowing. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.